Another group crunched on resources is the VA. There are no reported coronavirus cases at the Floyd E. Tet Fan State Veterans Home in Huntsville at this time. However, there are outbreaks at veterans' homes in other parts of the state. Earlier today, Way 31 anchor Marie Waxel asked Bob Horton with Veterans Affairs what it is doing to keep veterans safe and what's next. Bob, thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you for, uh, for having me, uh, Maria. A absolutely. So we want to talk about the new normal. What does the new normal look like for Alabama Veterans Home? We understand that you've scaled a lot of stuff back already, but when we start to reopen, what is the new normal going to look like for these homes and for these residents and their families? Well, first and foremost, the, the health and well-being of our veterans and our employees is top priority always. Uh, from the outbreak, of the pandemic, we implemented precautionary measures following guidelines from uh, the governor's COVID-19 task force, the D uh, CDC, and also the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs. On March the 12th, we implemented a restrictive visitation policy at our veterans' homes as a precautionary measure to, uh, to protect our employees and also our veterans. Um, at our state veterans' home uh, cemetery in Spanish Fort, we discontinued uh, committal services and military honors uh, following uh, the health health care guidelines. Uh, that is the current norm. Uh, the future norm, uh, we're going to continue taking uh, guidance from the Alabama Department of Public Health, uh, the governor's task force, CDC, um, as um, things open. Uh, we'll take a look at our current policies at our veterans' homes, possibly opening up the homes for um, certain um, uh, visits uh, with limitations, of course. So uh, we're continuing to follow the progress of our state's response to the crisis, and we're going to be prepared to respond accordingly uh, at that time. Thinking about having to put those uh, the burials with military honors on hold or not letting them, uh, just not being able to do them for these veterans that have given so much for our country. I know it's hard for their families. Uh, is there a plan to do something for these veterans in lieu of those ceremonies? Uh, yes. Um, at our uh, veterans cemetery in Spanish Fort, um, as I mentioned, we are not uh, conducting committal services or um, performing military honors. However, we are recording requests from families who have a loved one in turn during the crisis uh, to hold military honors uh, at a future time. So we are making arrangements to do that, to honor our veterans who have served their country and we're going to do everything that we can to respect them in a dignified manner. Awesome. That, this is wonderful news. Good to hear. I know the families appreciate hearing that as well. Uh, you've got several homes across the state of Alabama. I know you guys have increased testing there at their homes. Uh, you had a pretty big outbreak there at the home in Alexander City. Kind of walk us through that outbreak, how quickly it spread, and where you guys stand now. Well, from the very beginning, our Veterans homes uh, were following CDC guidelines. Uh, they were, um, they had the personal protective equipment on hand. Uh, our first COVID-19 case for an employee was reported March the 30th at the Bill Nichols State Veterans Home in Alexander City. Uh, that employee uh, had not worked for seven days, and when they reported to work, they were showing symptoms of a cold or a flu, and they were tested uh, later and determined that they were positive for the virus. Uh, that employee uh, did not return to work. On April the 8th, we had our first COVID-19 case reported for a resident of the Bill Nichols State Veterans Home. Uh, since then, we have had approximately um, 85 uh, residents test positive approximately 35 employees have tested positive. However, over a period of time, those who are testing positive are uh, considering to recover from the virus. And as, as of um, Monday, uh, out of those 86, 45 uh, are considered still positive. So as we progress through the crisis, 
uh, we do have a significant number of residents who are no longer considered positive, uh, and that applies to our employees as well. Uh, in the very beginning of the outbreak, um, uh, the area uh, in, in Alabama where our home is located in Alexander City saw a significant number of cases uh, in Lee County, Tallapoosa County, Chambers County. Um, and unfortunately, the, the, the virus made its way into the home. Um, the home was following uh, proper protocol from the very beginning. Um, we have seen challenges throughout the state of Alabama and also nationally in our long-term skill, uh, skilled care facilities in regard to this virus. And once it enters uh, a, a place like a nursing home or a veteran's home, uh, it, it can be very difficult to contain. Mm -hmm. um, but we're working closely, again, with the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs. They sent, in, uh, sent an independent uh, team to the home uh, last week to conduct an independent review of the protocols and procedures being followed in the home. Um, we had a positive report from the VA. We also had uh, the Alabama Department of Public Health had a representative come into the home, again, conducted an independent survey. And that survey indicates that the employees, the healthcare staff are following proper protocols and procedures. And we're doing everything that we can to care for our veterans in, in our homes and working closely with the local healthcare uh, professionals and also with the federal VA, uh, we're gonna ensure that they're receiving the best healthcare possible. We are gonna take another break and coming up, we're gonna discuss how you can get involved.